gentlemen, ladies, welcome back. I just got back from doing a little shopping at the local vintage stock, and I tell you, I am so surprised at what I found today. I can't freaking believe it. And I thought I'd show you because I gotta show somebody. And I just got this crap. So we got here. Um, start off. Um, I got a Sega. Sega Sports Dreamcast Black Controller. These only came with the uh, limited edition black systems. They didn't sell these controllers separately, but they had it there, $7.99. Um, it's not really scratched up or anything. It looks really good. And, uh, I love the Dreamcast. It's a great old system, and I kind of finished for collecting all the colors of the controllers, so uh, this is one I was missing, so great. Um, I also, for the Dreamcast, happened to pick up a uh, fishing controller and a uh, bass fishing game for $9.99. I've been seeing these controllers going for like 17 or 18 bucks by themselves. So for 10 bucks, I was like, sweet. I mean, fishing's no fun unless you have the fishing pole. But here's the real haul, folks. And, um... I paid two bucks a piece for each and every one of these, and I, like I said, I can't believe it. Um, some of these I've never even seen before, but uh, they're all Atari games, and um, like I said, two bucks a piece. Uh, this one's uh, Smurf, Rescue, and Gargamel's Castle. The label is is okay. It's you know seen somewhere, but. I played this game probably when I was like 9 or 10 years old, and I kind of remember it from that, and decided, hey, $2, why not? Then I found four that kind of go together. Um, here's Star Wars Empire Strikes Back, now I did have one of these, it, it came with no label on it whatsoever. Um, this one was $1.99. At the other vintage store in my other video, these, even with the ripped label, went for $9.99. I don't know why the, this store has it for $2 and the other one has it for $10, but they do. And this label's in awesome shape for how old it is. Here we go. Star Wars Jedi Arena. Now, I have no idea what this is. Um, it's Star Wars. I love Star Wars. So anything Star Wars, and it has a label, which is kind of peeling up a little bit, but we're going to work on that, $2, uh, and a final one, in the Star Wars Saga, Return of the Jedi, for the Atari 2600, $1.99, uh, same deal, uh, labels, coming up a little bit, but we'll, we'll work on that. Now these two stopped my heart, folks. I couldn't freaking believe this. And uh, there's a guy you might know on YouTube and Screw Attack. His name's Angry Video Game Nerd. And he does videos. And, um, I, I have quite a few of the games that he has, but there's a lot of stuff that you know now, especially his library, has gotten so huge that you can't touch him. But these two, I was surprised to find. No, it's not Atari porno, but. It's, <laughs> it's awesome. I found Texas Chainsaw Massacre, folks. Texas Chainsaw Massacre with the label. Dollar ninety freaking nine. Dollar ninety nine. I, I don't know. I, I st I'm speechless about it. I don't even know what to think of this. But to top this... Halloween, Atari 2600 Halloween, with the label, the nerds didn't even have the label, $1.99, god damn, I couldn't believe it, I spent $18, but, you know, $18 on just the Atari games, and then another 10 on the fishing controller, which this looks sweet too, and the black Sega Sports Dreamcast controller, and I don't know, it's, it's amazing what you can find even from one 
vintage stock store to the other. I mean, the, every single one of these games is two dollars. It didn't matter what it was at this one; they were two dollars. The one that I normally go to that's closer to me has a lot wider selection, but the prices range. Like I said, the uh, Empire Strikes Back uh, with a rip ladle was nine ninety nine there. And, uh, oh yeah, I guess I do have some other crap that I bought there. Uh, um, I mainly just got Atari games over there, but this will show you kind of the range of price versus the other one that I just showed you for two bucks. Uh, this is Qbert. Uh, labels in a lot worse shape than the ones that I just got, but at least it had a label. I've seen them without. This one was two dollars. So, can't mock that. Popeye, the label's kind of peeling up, uh, but it does have the full label. It's a little water stained, but $1.99 for that. So they're kind of close, but then you'll find the rare one that's just like, I don't know, here's one, for example, Star Raiders. Now this did come with the um, video touchpad. Um, it doesn't have the overlay for it, but it did come with a video touchpad. Uh, for five dollars, which I didn't think that was that bad. Um, Midnight Magic Pinball, dollar uh, ninety nine, and then this one here. I don't even. Amador. It looks like it was two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. And then there's this one, which I had never seen this before either, but it was, of course, a lot more money. And the name of the game is MASH. Um, for the 2600, it's uh, licensed by 20th Century Fox, so, you know, that's cool. Uh, but $9.99, this one was, you know, five times as much as the rest of these. Uh, but I had never seen that. And that's why I am so stoked about these. I mean, that, I, I can't believe it. <laughs> it's just too cool. But, you know, Atari, gotta love it. Um, I don't even know what to think. These, uh, but anyway, um, I'm gonna wrap it up here, folks. Uh, no big deal. Just more crap. <laughs> more crap in the collection, so... Uh, I hope you dug it. If you didn't dig it, uh, you know, sorry. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm going to get out of here and play some of the Atari games and um, talk to you soon.